Hey everyone, I'm Sarah Fish. And I'm Brandon Price. And this is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Good morning everyone, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. Um, so this morning I wanted to do a goat assessment. Whenever you have a goat that doesn't feel well, you have a lot of things you want to go over on the goat to find out originally maybe what started it and also to find out what's wrong and how to fix it. Um, so we have a goat that doesn't look like he's feeling well. So um, we're going to go get a hold of him and I'll go over all of the things you want to look for in figuring out what's wrong with your goat. The most important tool that you're going to need and really the only tool for this assessment is a very good working thermometer. You always want to at least have two in your, in your medical box. That way if one's not working you have a backup. I've had that happen before where I had one wasn't working and I didn't have a backup so we weren't able to I guess uh, figure out exactly what to do because we weren't sure what temperature the goat was at. Um, so we're gonna go get a hold of him and we're gonna get started. All right so we're heading out to get our goat. Uh, his name is Bazooka and typically before I catch the goat I'm just gonna watch and see how he's acting. Um, sometimes when you go to catch a goat, especially if they're not exactly friendly, they're going to act a little bit different once you get a hold of them than when you leave them be. So we're going to go and check him from a distance and look at some of his symptoms and then we'll get a hold of him. Here's some of our young boys. And also I'm going to kind of compare them to uh, some of the other goats in the pen with this, you know, with the sick goat and make sure nobody else is showing any signs. Everybody in here... The rest are kind of down there. But they're all looking pretty healthy, not showing any signs of anything wrong with them. So here is Bazooka. He's by himself. That's typically a sign that they don't feel well. Um, not always, though, but he's standoffish. So that's a sign that something isn't quite right. And then what I noticed with him, now we just had a storm come through last night. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. You got hay all over you. Um, but I noticed he has diarrhea. And goats are not supposed to have diarrhea ever. He's looking a little bit thin, but it could just be because he's lethargic. And if you look at him, because it's cold today, he's actually hunched. So his back, back end is hunched. And so that's just, those are some of the signs to notice that your goat is not feeling well. So we're going to get a hold of him and we're going to check a few things. All right, so I've got him tied up now. So one of the first things that we're going to check is his temperature because I'm a little bit worried. It's, it was cold last night. We had some rain, even though he's dry, you know, so he, he didn't get all soaking wet. <clears throat> but we want to make sure that his temperature isn't low or if he has a fever. So unfortunately, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm going to get the temperature and then I will talk about it. All right, so his temperature is only 98. A normal temperature is 101.5 to 102.5. So his temperature is low. We gotta get him warmed up. So that's gonna be one of the first things that we need to do is get him warmed up. But we need to figure out what is going on with him. Why is he not feeling well? So the next thing that we're gonna check is the famacha, and that's the color of his eye. Um, not the eye itself, but there's the skin next to the eyeball. And you want to see if that is pale or if it's nice and dark red. So I'm going to see if I can do it one-handed. All right, so the way that you check a famacha is you're going to use the top eyelid and cover the eye. And then you're going to just put a little bit of pressure and then pull down the bottom eyelid and check the color that pops out. And as you can see, it's nice and dark red. So I don't believe he has worms, but... We have a fresh stool sample here, so I'm probably going to go ahead and run a fecal just to rule that out. All right, so then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that he's not getting some type of pneumonia, and we're going to listen to his lungs. Now, I have the worst hearing of anyone, so even with the stethoscope, I cannot hear how his lungs sound. So I'm just going to put my ear up there and listen to his breathing from his nose and see what it sounds like. So we're running a fecal. I know this isn't the best quality video for you guys, I apologize. But I wanted to show you guys. I only found one egg so far. And it is...
right there. So that egg, I'm going to get it out of that bright light, right at the bottom right hand corner. Alright, so there's the egg right there. So that's kind of what they look like. This is just one type. Um, but so far out of a whole McMaster's slide, I've only found one egg. So I would assume that he does not have worms um, that we're just dealing with um, an upset stomach of some kind because I ruled out just about everything else. All right, so after assessing uh, bazooka, we believe that it's just kind of maybe a common cold, if you will. Um, I think he got into something that upset his stomach, and that's what gave him the diarrhea. And then, because of the weather change, uh, it just kind of draw him down a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to treat the diarrhea. We've done a fecal and only found two eggs on the entire McMaster's slide. So um, he doesn't have worms, and so we don't need to treat anything there. Other than that, he looks... Like he's pretty healthy. He's still eating and pooping and everything. So I think if we can get the diary under control, that will prevent him from getting any more uh, dehydrated and being dehydrated in the cold. And I think everything just all around created what's going on with him. So we're going to treat him, like I said. What we're going to use, because I was giving him some probiotics a day and a half ago, I did notice he had some runny stool, but he was still alert. Everything looked good. So we thought, you know, if we just treated his diarrhea, it would go away and he'd be fine. However, the probiotics are not working. So what we're going to be doing is giving him some kaolin pectin. And I've used this once before and it works amazing. So we've got to treat him three to four times a day with this until the stool gets better. And hopefully that and getting him warm um, will work. Now we don't have, the best way to warm up a goat is to do tent style with a hairdryer. Unfortunately, because he's so big uh, and we're off grid, it's really hard to do that. So we're going to do the honey. We're going to do a teaspoon of honey. You're going to mix cayenne pepper in there. And what that does is it'll warm his body up from the inside out. And then we do have some uh, cattle jacket, like the calf jacket. So we're going to put one of those on him as well. And we brought him into the hay barn so that way he's out of the wind. And, um, so, and then we're just going to keep an eye on his temperature and keep giving him the cayenne and honey and the kaolin pectin and see what that does. All right, so I was charging my phone, but I just went out to check his temperature. Remember, it was 98 degrees last time, and this is his new temperature, 102.2. So it worked uh, using the cayenne pepper with the honey, and then we also put the jacket on him and got him in the barn out of the weather, the wind mainly. Um, so now his temperature is good, so now all we got to do is work on getting his diarrhea under control. We're using that kaolin pectin every three um, to four times a day. So I'm thinking every three hours um, for today, and then we can kind of spread it out a little bit more tomorrow. So we didn't start it till a little bit later this morning. So hopefully we can get that under control pretty quick. This kaolin pectin works really fast. Um, I think by the end of today, he should hopefully have a little bit normal stool. He did go to the bathroom in the barn, so I'm able to see it is still um, liquidy, um, but it's not watery. It's more a paste right now. So that's a good sign um, because it's been really watery. As you saw, it's all down his rear end. So we're just going to keep checking on him every few hours and make sure um, that he's doing well. We also gave him a little bit of molasses water. Um, just to give him a little bit more energy to get his body working a little bit faster. So, so far everything seems to be working well. So, let's keep our fingers crossed. Well, we moved Bazooka back into his pen with the other boys. Uh, we kept the jacket on, but his temperature is staying stable. And, uh, he pooped on the way over. Sorry for the wind, it's still pretty windy today. Um, but it's getting clumpy which is great. So we're getting there as far as the diarrhea goes. Um, it's not as bad as it was. So we're just going to keep treating him, but put him out here. And then Brandon built a temporary house over there. He put that up in like 30 minutes, um, but it'll at least block the wind and give him a little bit more shelter. So I've come out this morning to check on Bazooka and Hulk. Stop. We have almost solid poop. We're getting pellets. They're just a little bit clumped together. Um, but we're almost there. <laughs> Hulk was such a good boy. Don't eat that. That's gross. 
uh, this morning he chased off a coyote. Huh. We got that on video so I can show you guys real quick. So the sun is just starting to come up. Um, we actually got a fr our first official frost last night. Everything is frozen solid. And uh, so I was a little bit worried about bazooka, but here he is. Hey, bud. Um, so now that we're getting the diarrhea under control, we're going to start <clears throat> watching to see um, how he's doing. We're going to get his temperature this morning, make sure he's all right. Uh, we had to take the jacket off of him yesterday because the other bucks were getting tangled with him. Um, but we're also going to give him some shots of vitamin B this morning to help get his immune system built back up and uh, go from there. So now that Bazooka's poop is under control, now we're just going to get his body back up and working a little bit better. So what we've got here is three cc's of vitamin B complex. And then because he's still a little bit cold, it got really, really cold last night. I think it was uh, around 10 or 11 degrees. Um, so what we're going to do is we've got the honey and, and cayenne in here because he would not take it very well yesterday. He hated it, in fact. But we also added some Nutri Drench in here to give him a little bit more um, nutrients in his body. And hopefully this together will give him enough energy to for his body to start get working again. Well, it's been about a day and a half and we haven't treated anything with bazooka since that vitamin B and that drench that we did. How you feeling, bud? You look better. I know you're tired of me catching you. <laughs> now he's upset with me, but he's got good solid poops again. He um was not cold he's looking a lot better a lot more alert and he's out moving around again with the rest of the herd so I think he's gonna make a full recovery well I hope that this was helpful for you guys um, this is kind of what we do whenever we have a, a goat that's not feeling well or sick or injured or whatever uh, we go over all these symptoms and the basic goat assessment so thank you guys so much for watching we're very happy that bazooka is gonna make it we'll see you guys next time